Hey guys, Mark here, and this is my new beginner's guide for the eSky Honeybee Fixed Pitch version 2. Um, now these are going to be a bunch of videos aimed at people that are thinking about getting into this hobby, uh, people that have just gotten into this hobby and are thinking of upgrading to a single rotor helicopter in case you start on a coaxial, um, and people that just bought one of these and are getting ready to get theirs in the mail and are wondering what to do when they first get it. Um, so I'm going to go over as much of the basics as I can of getting into this hobby um, and all about the Honeybee Fixed Pitch. Now this is the helicopter that I learned on and it's the helicopter that I recommend everybody else learn on. Uh, a lot of people ask me, uh, should I start with a Honeybee Fixed Pitch or should I start with something like the Belt CP version 2? I always recommend the East Guy Honeybee Fixed Pitch. Um, I do not recommend you start on that helicopter, the Belt CP. This is what you want to get um, and I'll go over lots of reasons why I believe this is the best helicopter to start on. But uh, just to keep going with the beginner's guide, um, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you what's in the box, you know, what you can expect to see when you first get yours and you pop open the box. Alright, so real quickly I'm just going to show you what's in the box. I'll go over all the stuff that's in the box in detail here in a minute, but I just want to show you what's going to look like when you open up the box. So I went up the top here, you got the SIM disc. Normally you'd have instructions. Um, I can't remember where I put mine, so, but you get the simulator disc, and in here you get the helicopter, and you'll see it's fully assembled, needs nothing, it's ready to fly out of the box. Um, there's a couple checks that we're going to go over before you fly it, but uh, again, it needs no assembly. And you get over here, you get your battery, 11.1 volt, 800 milliamp lithium polymer battery. Um, you get the battery charger for it, and the battery charger, the cool thing about this is you can use it with both a uh, 12 volt power supply, um, like a car battery, and that's what this would be used to, or you can use just like a normal 12 volt power supply, um, but it also comes with the connector, the AC adapter, to hook this to the wall, um, so you can just charge it in your house. Uh, you also get a little package here of some zip ties some double side tape, an Allen wrench, um, you want to hang on to these. Uh, now most of the versions you're going to see are 2.4 gigahertz version, I've got an FM version, um, don't ask, but so you get the transmitter, underneath the transmitter you get a simulator cable, this allows you to hook your transmitter to your computer using this cable and you install the sim program and then you can learn all the basic stick directions needed to fly your helicopter without ever actually crashing anything. Um, then you also get batteries for the transmitter underneath here. So again, I'm going to go over all this stuff here in a second, but that's what it's going to look like when you open up the box. Okay, so before I get any further, to the beginners, a couple things you need to know about RC helicopters. First thing you need to know is that RC helicopters are not toys. Do not treat these RC helicopters like toys. Even something as small as this right here, when these blades are spinning around at full speed, this gets up near your skin. This is going to cut you wide open. So do not treat these like a toy. Um, be very careful. Use a lot of caution when flying these. Do not fly around people. Um, you know, don't get you know talked into doing stupid stuff by your friends. Yet, yeah, not toys. Um, another thing you need to know: when you're learning to fly RC helicopters, you're gonna crash. Everybody crashes. So accept it now. Get over it deal with it. Um, and one other thing you need to know, this is a hard, hard hobby. All these helicopters are very hard to fly, so, you know, have patience while you're learning, because it's going to take some time. You're going to spend a lot of time crashing, you're going to spend a lot of time repairing, and that's just the way it is. So, when it comes to RC helicopters, the coaxial helicopters, the ones with the two sets of blades, one spins one direction, the other one spins the other direction, those kind of helicopters are the easiest to fly. But the coaxials fly different from the single rotor helicopters. So when it comes to single rotor helicopters, the bigger it is, the easier it is to fly. But you don't, most people don't have the money to learn on something like this. Um, some people like to think that the Belt CP is a good option to learn on, you know, and it is for some people, but I always recommend the Honeybee as the one to learn on. Um, because it's inexpensive to buy, it's inexpensive to crash um, and repair. Um, and that leads me to my next uh, thing that you need to know about RC helicopters 
is this can be a very expensive hobby. Um, when you buy a helicopter, you're going to spend a lot of money on repair parts while you learn to fly. Because again, you're going to crash, so uh, when you start looking at helicopters, fly what you can afford to crash. Um, don't buy some really extravagant helicopter if you can't afford the repair parts for it. Um, and the last thing I want you guys to really understand is you really need to do your research. Um, plenty of help is available. Uh, you know, going online, um, you got forums. I've got my own forum. You've got uh, videos. Um, you got my videos. Uh, another person you should know is Night Flyer. You can find him on YouTube. That's Dave Herbert. Um, and another guy you should know is Finless Bob, and you can find him on HeliFreak.com. Um, there's plenty of people online willing to help you. Um, if you've got a local hobby shop, uh, you'll see it abbreviated online as LHS, uh, Local Hobby Shop. Um, if you can, go down there, talk to them guys. Sometimes you can find some really knowledgeable people about helicopters. That's really going to make uh, learning to fly a lot easier if you can get some local help. Now, when it comes to the helicopters here, you can see uh, I've got three helicopters. These are the three helicopters from, these are all from eSky. This is the Honeybee Fixed Pitch version 2, obviously. This is the Belt CP version 2. And this is the biggest helicopter that eSky makes. It's also the best one they make. This is the eSky eSmart. Um, and this is just in a whole different league from all this. But when I started to fly, I knew that I wanted to fly something like this. So... That, why, that was why I chose the Honeybee as the helicopter to learn on because a four-channel fixed-pitch helicopter flies just like these, except this doesn't fly upside down. Um, but other than that, this thing will fly around just like a you know collective pitch helicopter. But the thing is, this has a third the parts that has. Um, so it's you know it's half the price, very cheap. To fix it, you know, uh, a lot of times you crash it, nothing breaks. Um, it's a great trainer, uh, the one that I always recommend. Um, and again, this will fly just like these. So you can learn all you can about basic flight with this, and then transition to something like that. Um, now, one of the things about these that are really cool is, while I always call them a trainer, they start out as a trainer. But there are so many mods available that you can take a normal honeybee fixed pitch and turn it into what we sometimes call a super feet, uh, a super FP. Uh, I mean, you can completely mod this whole helicopter, really make it into a completely different helicopter, belt, drive, tail, everything. It's really amazing the amount of mods that have come out for this helicopter. Um, now, the version 2 here, uh, this is a very tough helicopter. Now, the version 1 was a pretty tough helicopter. This one is even tougher. Um, so the difference is between the version 2 to the version 1 Honeybee.